Happy day 54, guys. TGIF, Captain's Log, star date, May 8th, 2020. TGIF, it's been a long week. How about yours? Uh, we had a couple highlights this week. We had day 50 on Monday. We had Cinco de Mayo, and then we had my mom's birthday yesterday. I would have to tell you, personally, that was one of my best days of this whole shelter in place. I was able to see my parents, my brother, my sister, my nieces and nephews. Uh, believe me, from the video you guys saw yesterday, we all kept our social distance. We all had masks on, uh, hand sanitizer at every table, but it was just, it was just nice to be around people. It really was. I had a great time. I, I hope uh, everyone else felt the same. Uh, I shot a live video from there yesterday, as you guys saw, I improvised, I adapted. Uh, but one of the big things I talked about was the Pisco Sour. So today, here Friday on Happy Hour, I'm here to show you how to make a Pisco Sour. So what I did was I went ahead and gathered some ingredients that we will need to make the Pisco Sour. And I gave you guys the ingredients up front. So if you have the ingredients with you at home, you can follow along. If you don't, I will speak slowly and you can go ahead and do this yourself. Uh, first thing you're going to need is pisco. As I mentioned yesterday, the pisco has to be from Peru. Unlike the Chile, uh, the Chileans, the Chileans from Chile that also have pisco, it's not the legit stuff. Okay, don't let anyone like Manera fool you. Okay, if it doesn't come from the Valley of Ica in Peru, it is not pisco. This is one of many brands uh, that I recommend. Uh, this is my father-in-law's favorite. This is 1615. Fantastic. Uh, and then this is Portone. This is a small version of Portone. I don't know if you guys can see the bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. Very decorative. Some regard that as some of the best Pisco from Peru. But it's like wine. Everyone has their favorites, right? So it really depends on what you like and how you drink it. Uh, like many people, if you're mixing it all the time, maybe you don't need the top shelf kind of stuff. Uh, if you're sipping it, maybe you want the best stuff you can get. So it's really up to you and how you drink your Pisco. So let's talk about the Pisco Sour, the national drink of Peru. Pisco Sour is so popular. They have a Pisco Sour Day. I believe it's at the end of January or early February. So next year, we should all get together and drink Pisco Sours. First thing you need is the Pisco. Second is you need the simple syrup. And I, as I mentioned to you guys earlier in the week, this is Goma. I actually was at a Goma, so I made this myself. I took sugar and water and you melt it down equal parts. Uh, this will last us quite some time. This is a lot, I just recycled the bottle. So now we have simple syrup for any of the drinks that we may want. You need a shaker here. Uh, you're gonna need some eggs and you don't need the whole egg, you just need the egg white. So you want a couple eggs so you can have some uh, several egg whites. And then you want fresh squeezed lime juice. Uh, this was about 10 limes, it took me 20 minutes to squeeze all these limes. And again, depending if you're making a, a drink for yourself or you're having drinks for your friends and family, uh, it could take you a while to squeeze all the limes. But this is how you would make a traditional Pisco Sour. Um, and it's amazing, and I think you guys should all try it. But wait, there's more. You guys may have remembered me asking repeatedly for sponsors for my video. Anybody, I was talking Four Point, anybody. I wouldn't call them a sponsor, but my good friend, the owner of Lamar, was kind enough to provide me with some ingredients so I could show you how to make a Pisco Sour. Uh, look at this nice little t-shirt. Uh, before we get into the Pisco Sour, let me ask you a question. Raise your hand if you've ever had Peruvian food. Right, I see some hands over there. Please keep your hand raised if Peruvian food is the best food you ever had in your life. Right, that's what I'm saying. It is awesome. I love Peruvian food. And Lamar, I would say, hands down, is the best Peruvian food restaurant here in San Francisco. There are a lot of restaurants here in the city and they're, they're all great. But if you had to pick my favorite, it would be Lamar. Not only are they the best restaurant in San Francisco, they're arguably the number one restaurant in the country for Peruvian food. They actually have restaurants also in Lima, Peru, all over Peru, and they are, their chef, Gaston, is world renowned. He is a master at his craft, and we are lucky enough here in San Francisco to have one of his restaurants, and my buddy is the owner. And again, he's not sponsoring me, but let's just say he gave me a t-shirt or two, 
And if any of you out there would like a t-shirt, please let me know. It may take a little while with the postal service and everything that's going on with COVID, but I will get this shirt to you. They're all size large. And if they're too big for you, ladies, you can wear as a nightgown or whatever. Guys, you cut sleeves off, work out, whatever you want to do. It's just to help spread the word. Lamar's doing good things. Speaking about good things, one of the things they're doing is they have either to-go food or pick-up food. So this Sunday is Mother's Day, in case you didn't remember. They've got a fantastic menu. If you want to treat your wife, your mother, your girlfriend to fantastic food, I highly recommend on Sunday ordering food from Lamar. Uh, they have many things on their menu. One of my favorites is Lomo Saltado. If you guys like that, I would highly recommend that. If you want to start with an appetizer, you can do it like an empanada. After the Lomo, maybe you want to ease into some ceviche. You know, it depends what you're into. They have a great dessert, tres leche cake. It's fantastic. I highly recommend that as well. But here's what I wanted to get to. Option one, pisco sour. Option two, Lamar does all the hard work for you. This is amazing. What you get is two containers. This first container includes the pisco. It includes the simple syrup. It includes all the limes. And this little here controls, has the, the egg whites. So now what I'm talking about, instead of a 30 to 45 minute preparation for a drink, what I'm gonna show you now is a 60 second Pisco Sour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take four ounces of this big container and one ounce of this container, and we're gonna put it in a measuring cup and thank you to TV Magic that's already been poured for me. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put that into a shaker. See the way that goes in there? Didn't that sound nice? It sounded nice, right? Let me get some music going on here. Um, let's see if we got any music here. What's going on? You know, you gotta use special music because these videos, if it's like not duty free, copy free, royal free, you get in trouble and then like Facebook sends you a message and Instagram sends you a message. Let's see if I can do this here. Either way, you take this and you wanna shake it for 20 seconds, this mixture, with no ice, just the mix, right? You wanna get it going, right? And if you're fancy, you can do a little dance, right? Do a little dance. This would be better if there's music. In your mind, just think of like some salsa music, okay? This is live TV, you know, you, you just gotta improvise, okay? Then what you wanna do after about 20 seconds is you wanna add some ice. My hands are clean, believe me, I sanitize like 30, 40 times a day. So you wanna put some ice in here. Okay. I'm not sure what happened to my music. I gotta talk to my sound guy. Okay, see that? You just kind of, you just kind of go with it and shake it up. Just imagine some like Ricky Martin or some salsa music in the background, right? Boom, 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 Okay. So then what you do is you take a glass. Remember my fancy glasses from my previous shows. And then you want to open this bad boy up. Okay, listen to this pour. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that. That is fantastic. And you see at the very top, you're starting to see the little extra up there. That's the egg whites. And the longer you shake it and see the egg whites are coming out now. So it gives like a nice frothy finish on top. It's actually fantastic. Now, again, as I mentioned to you the other day, normally you finish this off with some bitters. I'm not a bitter guy myself, so we're not gonna put any bitters on that. Uh, but I would like my special guest, my trusty assistant, my numero uno, my beautiful wife. Here you go, sweetie. And due to TV magic, there was actually two that were made. Salute from our family to yours. Happy Friday, hashtag TGIF. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Mm. Awesome, awesome. Remember, 
Lamar, pickup, delivery, whatever you need, give them a call. Let me know if you want a t-shirt. As always, guys, thanks for watching. TGIF, hashtag 415 together, hashtag 415 strong, hashtag better, better, to, together. better together. We'll see you guys all soon tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.